In this video, I will show you two codes. The first one will create a hello world message in the console, and the second one will be a form with the title hello world. The language is C sharp, and the compiler will use mono. So after creating the C-Sharp folder, we'll create two files. The first one will be hello.cs, that will contain the first code or the first program. I will start by the using directive to use the system namespace. This way, I will be able to use all the classes from this namespace without specifi uh, specifying the full path of these classes. So after defining the, the main class that will contain the main function, the first function called when the program is running. This is actually the function that will uh, print the message on the console. For this, I will use the right line method from the, uh, from the console class, this class that belongs to the system namespace. But since I used using system, I will not have to use system.console.writeLine. So I will have to use uh, only console.whiteline and the message to print uh, into the console. To compile your code, use the CSC command line. For other versions of Mono, you may have to use MCS command to run your code, use the Mono, followed by the name of the file with the exe extensions. You can set your compile uh, parameter command in the genie editor and the execute command as well. The second code will be written in the hello.w.cs file. Using system, and I will use another namespace, system.windows.proms, that will contain the class I will be using to create my form. So the main class here will be different from the previous one since it will inherit from the form class that belongs to the system.windows.proms namespace. It will have, or I will have to define, two functions. The first one will be the main function that will uh, that will create an instance of hello world and then print or run the application. And the second one will be the constructor of my class. Uh, will be uh, will have will be a method that will have the same name of the class. And I will simply set the text property of hello world class to hello world, since it inherits from form. Uh, the text property will be or will correspond to the title of this form. Then I will run the application in the main function using application.run method, but uh, as a parameter, I will have to create a, an object from hello world class using the directive new and the name of the class, not by the name of the class. In our case, this is the hello world class. To compile your code, use the CSC command line. For other versions, you may use MCS command line, and you may also have to add dash r system.windows.forms.dml for assembly reasons. For the execution, use mono as well. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!